Hello, it's Paige, and today we are going to be drawing an Easter bunny with a bunch of Easter eggs on it. And so to dye Easter eggs, you take an egg, dip it in dye, and you can dye various colors and patterns, and it's really fun, and it's really fun thing to do on Easter. It's an Easter tradition. So that's what we're drawing today. All right. Now our, our Easter bunny is kind of on top of an, a hill. He's behind a hill. So we're going to start off by drawing a hill and it's just going to be a big arch. It's almost like a big rainbow. So we're going to go from the side, come all the way up and go down to the other side. Now our hill is going to be grassy, so we're going to add some little jagged, little jagged lines to it to look like grass. Perfect. Our hill is also going to have Easter eggs and flowers on them. So an Easter egg is just an egg shape. It's an oval that's bigger on one side and skinnier on the other side. It's bigger on one side and skinny on the other side, but it's round. And then this one's kind of coming off the page here at the bottom. We also have some flowers. So I'm going to do a circle and then do some petals all around my circle. Maybe I'll do some big ones around my circle. I'm doing just a bunch of little rainbows, a bunch of little curves around my circle here in the middle for a flower. Perfect. And then you'll be coloring your Easter eggs a little bit later with the pattern, so we're not going to draw those quite yet. For our bunny, we're going to start with the head. It's just going to be a big long oval. Right smack dab in the middle right there. A big long oval. Give them two dots for eyes. And then you're going to draw a nose. So do a V. And you're going to connect the top with another upside down V. With like a triangle on top and a V on the bottom. And you're going to do two U's coming out of it for his mouth. Our Easter Bunny also has whiskers. Do three lines coming out of each side. You can make them real long if you want or real short if you want. Perfect. For the body, we're going to connect the head with some curved lines to our hill. Just like that. And do a rainbow in the middle for his belly. Perfect. For his arms, we're going to do two straight lines coming out of each side. And then add five fingers to him. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, that one has four. That's okay. <laughs> now for our ears, we're just going to do two big, or one big rainbow for the one ear. And the other ear is going to be bent over. So how we make it look like that is we come up only a part way. We come flat like this. And then do a U that's kind of like diagonal and connect it to the top of the flat part. So we came up only part way, across, and then a diagonal U. And then we're going to continue that. And then go like this with two lines up. So our two lines up are connecting from are you down to the head and this one's just behind the ear so that's our ear folded over perfect now behind our Easter Bunny we have kind of a ring of Easter eggs so we're gonna draw some egg shapes we're gonna draw an egg down here and what we're doing in between is we're drawing a loop. So what I did was I went up a loop, like a loop-de-loop, -loop, 
If you've ever seen a roller coaster, it looks like a loop-de-loop, -loop. just like that. So the next egg, we do the next egg just like this. We do a loop-de-loop -loop to our next egg over here. And a loop-de-loop -loop to our next egg, which is kind of behind our ear. A loop-de-loop -loop to our next one, which is kind of behind our hand. A loop-de-loop -loop over here to our last egg that goes down into our hill again. Perfect. So that's it for drawing it. And to color our Easter bunny with our Easter eggs, my bunny is purple. You can make your bunny pink. You can make your bunny a light blue. You can make your bunny brown or tan. Um, it's kind of up to you. My nose, I did a darker color, so you can tell it's kind of a nose. And then for the belly and the insides of the ears, I did a lighter color. So as long as you follow that, where the belly, the ears are lighter, and the nose is darker than the rest of the body, then you should be fine. Our hill is going to be green. Our flowers, you can make yellow or pink or orange or red or blue or whatever you want. And our Easter eggs, you can draw however you want, however you might decorate an Easter egg. Imagine if you were decorating an Easter egg, then go ahead and draw those patterns onto your, onto your eggs. If you want to do stripes or squiggles or circles or open circles or long stripes or skinny stripes, there's a lot of different ways you can decorate an Easter egg, just like that. You see out here I have vertical stripes or horizontal stripes, sorry, going sideways like this. And then here I have up and down stripes going vertically. And on this one I have some squiggly lines, some circles, some open circles, and then some skinny lines all the same color. So it's kind of just up to you with however you want to color it. But have a lot of fun with it. And then my background, what I did was I did a light green. But you can also do a light blue if you want, or whatever color you want, but I would make it light. Make it a light color so that you can see the rest of it. And that's it for our Easter Bunny. I really hope that you enjoyed doing this, and hopefully it reminded you of when you dip your Easter eggs and have fun at Easter. So, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.